Hello everybody and welcome back to Yakuza. So, uh, I did finish up S tier Goro. And now he wants to meet me in West Park. So, that's something we gotta do. Uh, we have the thing with... There's a dude, there's the dude at the arcade who needs another thing. And then there's the person at Stardust that might be a person for the, uh, Pocket Circuit Stadium. And then there's a person at the Child's Park that's taking a shit and you don't got the toilet paper. So, uh, that's another quest that we need to do. So these are all things that I need to, need to happen eventually, but for now, you know, we're doing what we're doing. Let's fight this man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Pull out a weapon. I know you got one. Oh, you don't got one. All right. Choke him out. Break snap. Keep going. Get him out of here. <laughs> I'm at 2,000 experience. Uh huh. Tell me more. Okay. And up we go! We're gonna go beat Goro one more time. And then we'll see how many more times we gotta do it after that. I just see homies chilling in there. Hey, you. What's up, Majima? Oh, you came, Kidu Chan. Uh, I got the call for Nishida. Uh, this is it, the final check. That's right, gotta know. Are you the dragon of Dojima? Or is he still sleeping on a job? You're here on your own free will, at my invitation. We're past needing reason, right? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna ask you one last time. Are you ready to fight me for real? Fight, let's go. Uh, yeah, if this will settle the whole thing with you, Majima san, then I accept uh, your challenge. Whether or not it's settled all depends on you. Here I come, Kitty Chan. Show me, show it to me. The real dragon of Dojima. Oh shit, he got a knife. I wish I could do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to guard as often as I can because you know it hurts. No! <laughs> kind of seems unfair that I corner him like this. There you go. Now I feel less bad. <laughs> I wish I could break him out of this. But I guess I just gotta accept that I have the, the, the counter ability afterwards. Oh. Uh oh. Ouchie. Ah! Oh! sent his ass. So close. Just a little more. Seriously, we're almost there. Mm -hmm. What? Still want uh, more? Kiju Chan, I need more. I know you're capable of more powerful than you, more power than what you just showed me. You can become stronger. Don't give up. If you can keep pushing yourself, I can push myself harder too. Uh, okay. See you later. Bye.
Great. I guess this thing with Majima is not over as I hoped it was. Run Dagger Mastery. Got mad, do mad dog gloves. I wonder what those do. These black leather gloves unlock the energy to reserve your energy reserves when you are close to death. Interesting. Well, we did that. Right, what, you, what is your thing? Mm. Oh, hey, Kiju san. I heard two of your friends passed at the same time. My condolences, man. Oh, yeah, true. It's been a while since I've even uh, really paid attention to that. Oh, oh, yeah? You know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that would knock him down a little bit more, but it didn't do anything. He just went, uh. Ah. Oh! Mm -hmm. uh, who are you? Why, hello there, sir! Good day to you! Uh, excuse me? I presume that you were Kazuma Kiryu-san. Formerly known as Dojo... Do, or formerly of the Tojo Clan, ex-Dojima Family Lieutenant Advisor. Uh, who are you? Thank you ever so much for asking, dear sir! Furthermore, I apologize in advance for any confusion I may cause with my forthcoming statements. Firstly, I was born in the... Asakusa District of Tokyo. Secondly, regarding my occupation, I am a retainer to the Otobe family, third patriarch, Kijio Otobe-san. Thirdly, I would like to introduce myself. My, surna my surname is Yoshikawa, while my given name is Ichiroda. Though, if it pleases you, my compatriots refer to me as Ichi. As you can see, I am but a fledgling who has caused some measure of annoyance to my superior, so I hope to atone. May I also state for the record that I am honored to have made your acquaintance and hope to call you a friend. What, what, do you, what do you want? <laughs> and what does the Otobi family want with me? <laughs> Aha! Glad you asked, sir. Well, I'm interested in, of honest disclosure, you see. That young fellow, Takeshi, seems less reliable. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I guess he was kind of a little punk. I can see why you'd be worried. As such, I have been charged with ensuring the young couple's well-being, <sighs> sir. But I have the faceless notion where, about their whereabouts. So, kiji son, could you please find the young lady? Well, I guess if I... I'd recognize her if I saw her. I would be I would feel ever so reassured if one who knew this town so well could help me look at you. Yeah, I, I guess, sure. Uh. Sure, I can help you out. I knew you'd be able, I knew you'd help me out, KD son. My patriarch was right. You are the paragon of honor and humanity. Well, if you see this lady I would like for you to give these to her and the young lad she fancies. Oh. Mm -hmm. hmm, what's this? If you give them to the young lady, she'll understand pre uh. precisely what they mean. I see. This is just a handoff then? Indeed, Kidu san. I'm counting on you. Okay. Thank you. I, I don't know. Oh, you guys don't want the smoke. You guys don't want the smoke either. None of you want it. Wait up! Hey, you're going too fast. Oh. Hey, you! Huh? <laughs> You're a Yakuza, aren't you? Many. What? We're the gangbusters, warrior of justice, who have banded together and wiped streets of scum like you. Gangbusters? Did you get that from a foreign, some foreign film? Besides, I'm not Yakuza. <laughs> yeah, right. Kind of pathetic when a Yakuza-looking dude tries to weasel his way out of beating the flies. I'm not lying. Huh? Bullshit. We'll teach you and your kind to fear the name of gangbusters. Justice is served. You want to... Watch this. I have a sword. <laughs> and I do cool things with the sword. <laughs> I like this sword. <laughs> uh, damn it! How's your problem? Why'd you attack me? Huh? We already told you, we're the gangbusters! 
a crime fighting squad dedicated to exterminating Yakuza and punks like you. You affect this town long enough. Uh, and I already told you I'm not Yakuza. Besides, compared to the average street punk, Yakuza are another league. You're hit over your head. Eh? Sh shut up! We don't care if you're a punk, a felon, or a Yakuza. If you break the law, you need to be broken. And we have strength in numbers on our side. Just you wait. Your time will come. Better watch your back. Uh, I have no idea what this guy's so fired up. They seem to be determined to be a pain in the ass. Ain't that the truth? I hear... I hear him. I hear it. Where is he? Where are you? Go away. Oh. Hey, you. Fuck off. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Acting like you can do anything. Plot in a plate. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I really need to go sell some of this stuff. But... Oh, God damn it. You again? You again, huh? Oh, this one's got a sword. Get him. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you practicing your golf swings over here, my friend? Can we not? Why? Why? Why does everybody want to fight me right now? I'm gonna grab a bike. Smash it over to this man. <laughs> Smash it over this man. <laughs> Bikes and katanas. The true way to fight mobsters. I saw. I see a silhouette of a man. He's up here. I wish to fight him. Oh, it's Officer Majima, too. Hi. Stop in the name of love. Damn, it's Officer Majima. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's weapon fight. Let's weapon fight Majima. I walked right into that. Ah, fine. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, I tried. <laughs> Break this bad boy out. Oh my god. Please attack him. <laughs> Why is Bat Majima like both the easiest and the hardest for me to fight? 
I guess I could say that about uh, breakdancing as well. No. <laughs> I know what you're getting up to do, so. <laughs> I called it! You little shit. Bop! I should heal, just in case. You never know. Oh, uh huh, I only need to do one. What? How did he get me down? I was guarding the whole time. God, get me out of the corner, man. I know I just did this to you, but like... <laughs> I just got up and gut punched him. Just a thwonk. <laughs> you fucking loser. 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 <laughs> Okay, that's still going up pretty fast. I still have to fight zombie Majima. I don't know where he is. It makes things kind of difficult to do when I don't know where the fuck he is. Oh, you guys just leave me alone. Shut your mouth. Alright, what am I what am I doing right now? What is what is my main goal at the moment? I don't even know. We go, yeah, we can go there. We can go look for the the people. Do some of these side quests, I guess. So I have a feeling we're approaching, maybe maybe the end of the game. It seems like it's getting pretty close. So I don't want to go all ham without at least doing a little bit. Excuse me. Here we go. Go inside. Watch uh, Majima be in here. Again. I know. Um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask you something? Do you know where I could find the platform here? Mm -hmm. Uh, platform? Uh, I don't think this club has one. Oh, really? How sad. I was hoping they'd have one here. Sorry to disappoint you, but... Uh, Platform? That's nostalgic. They were pretty trendy in disco clubs, but during the bubble economy. Oh, wow! You were in the disco clubs during the bubble? Huh, yeah, when I was 20 years old or so. Used to be a regular, popping in to dance my cares away. Oh, wow! Can you tell me more about what it was like to go to a disco club in the bubble? Well, the women were dancing these gaudy tight dresses, and men would hit on them relentlessly. Everyone drank like fish. It's kind of a long, one long drunken party. I see. That's not quite a sight to behold. Uh, yeah, but why are you so interested? Oh, uh, there's a role for a movie set in the disco clubs of the bubble economy era. The movie's called Disco Queen of Love. I'm an aspiring actress. I'm going to audition for the lead role. I see. So you're trying to learn more about the time period. Yeah. Her disco clubs had platforms during the bubble. I wanted to see one in person, so I came here, but I turned 20 this year, so I was just a kid during the bubble. But I, if I want to play the part of someone who really lived in the era convincingly, I figured I'd try to learn more about the bubble economy myself. I see. That's pretty dedicated. Thank you. I've always wanted to be an actress ever since I was a little girl. That's why I don't cut corners, even when it comes to the smallest detail. <laughs> well, good luck. I can. I hope you can nail down the era somehow. Thank you. Oh, sorry. should have introduced myself. I'm Aya Yakuba. Y y y Yabuki. I don't know where I got Yakuba. I fucking read that backwards. Uh, and you are? My name's Kitty. So, you were a regular at the Disco Cubs during the bubble, right? Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah, I guess so. Um, if you don't mind, would you mind telling me more about what it was like back then? <laughs> what? If I can get some real details from someone who actually lived the bubble economy, I think I could nail down the audition. Stories of someone like you would help me recreate a true bubble eco economy mm -hmm. persona. Well, I see your point, but why ask me? Your parents were probably aware of how things were. <laughs> my parents are a couple of country folks. They never left town. 
They wouldn't know a thing about Disco Club's Rose Bubble. I see. So, can I rely on you to tell me more about it, Kitty san Please help me. I, I guess. Sure. I guess I can make some time. I really can. Can thank you very much. But where do I even start? What kind of information about the bubble economy would you want? Mm, well, let's see. Oh. I heard people did some weird stuff to hail a cab. What did they do? Oh, I remember that one. Really? Yeah, cabs were pretty popular back then. People would stay out late partying at the disco club, and the cabs were the best way to get back home. It got compet it got kind of competitive, so people would do interesting things to get a cab's attention. Like what? I'm trying to remember what they did to hail the cabs. Uh... I don't know. I don't know! <laughs> Am I supposed to know? Flash our 10,000 10, yen bill of the cab driver. Huh? How would the cab driver see it? Why don't you hold them out of your hand and wave it around like this? What? Is that what people really... Is that really what people did? <laughs> That's too funny. I think cab drivers had the luxury of picking their passengers. If the destination was too close, they'd refuse to take the job. So we'd wave 10,000 bin... Yeah, and bills to indicate that we were going far away and willing to pay the drivers. Are you serious? Wow, the bubble economy is so intense. But that's good info to know. I think that tells me a lot about the lifestyle I live. Yeah. <laughs> but I need to know more. Please don't worry about the bubble economy area. We're sure what else you want to know. Let's see. I'm really curious how relationships work. I'm sure dating was quite different then. Hmm. Dating, huh? Thinking back on it, one of the popular things guys did was dry drive women around in their cars. You mean like they take their girlfriend places? That sounds pretty normal. Guys still take their girlfriend's places today. You know? yeah. No. See, most of the time they weren't even dating yet. We would ask guys to drive them around, but most of the guys ended up never making it past friends. What? So men thought went through the trouble of driving women around even though they weren't together? Yeah. What does that even mean? Yeah, especially if it had a nice car. A nice car would mean you had money. But since everyone had money, men really had to go out of their way to impress a girl. Wow, I see. So men really had had to really work hard to get a girl's attention then. Now that I think about it, didn't those guys kind of have kind of a silly nickname? I thought I remember hearing that once. What was it? Runner Boys? Doggy Boys? No. Oh, yeah. They didn't have a nickname. I knew what you'd remember. What was the kid you said? Hmm. It's a name that made fun of them for driving women around because they, they told them to. Leg lads? Leg lock lads? Leg knee lad? Lock knee lads? What does this mean? I don't know! <laughs> Those all st are stupid! Leg lock lads? Sure, why not? Or leg lock lock. Leg lock, why would they be called that? Uh, because women. The women had the boys in a leg lock? Uh, th that doesn't sound familiar. Dang. Really? Good. Did I guess wrong? Huh? You're just guessing, kid. You yeah. said, "Huh? No, I. Uh, come on, I'll never learn anything. You just stab him in the dark, right? Sorry. So you remember the Nick Joyce head? Let's see. The men who drove the cars were. I mean, leg lads makes a sense to me. Makes. Yeah, leg lads. Okay. Why like do they call them that? Because these women use them as a means of transportation, kind of like using the men as their legs. Oh, I see. But it's a little sad that they got made fun of. Well, they were just trying to do something nice. <laughs> You're right. Women had a lot. Lots of nicknames for men back then. Oh my god, there were grub buds, gift guys, and keeper keeper coons. Men got pretty carried away with all the money they had, but women weren't innocent either. If they were the type to get a lot of attention, they went overboard too. So the economy was that good. Everyone was high-spirited to a fault, huh? But that story really helped me understand the mindset of young men and women at the time. Heh. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, please. Tell me more about the bubble economy carrier. Fucking just shut up. <laughs> I guess I could tell you. Go to, to a library or some shit. I guess I could tell you what the disco clubs there were saying you wanted to hear about. No, oh, finally. This is the setting of a movie I'm auditioning for, so I'm really looking forward to this. This club were pretty similar to this club, actually. There's a dance floor and the other side some VIP rooms. Men and women ba basically drink and dance and party. I see... I've. I've seen old footage and TV stuff, but I guess disco clubs weren't so different to clubs today. Oh, but I did know something different about the women in the disco club and the footage I saw. Hmm? What was it? Well, the clothes, for one. The women in the footage were wearing these really tight dresses. They had this weird thing in their hand. What was up with those dresses? What was the thing in their hand? A dress and item in their hand? A sailor dress and a katana. Yeah, I doubt that. A bodycon dress and a fan? A leotard and a ribbon. I'm pretty sure that's it. 
There were leotards and held ribbons at the time. Uh -huh. What? Uh, that sounds like a next class. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, it's not a katana. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. Sorry, I'm skipping shit. I'm getting fucking impatient. Uh, oh, I remember now. The body con dresses and holding fans. Body uh, con dresses? Yeah. Short for body conscious. It was a trend at the time. To really show off the body and hold a fan while dancing. I think the fans were called feather fans. <laughs> wow. Never heard that before. <laughs> I guess that's what happens to trends. I want to wear one of these for my audition, Kitty San. Do you happen to have one? What? Why on earth would I have one of those? Oh, I suppose that's true. But I would love those try those on for my audition to really recreate the area. A bodycon dress and a feather fan in my hand. Um, Kitty San, if you happen to find those items, would you mind bringing them here to me? I fucking what? Why, uh, why would I go do your shopping for you? Please, I beg you. I'm not saying it needs to happen for sure, but if you find them, I'd love to try them on. So, fine. But who knows if I ever get a hold of those. So I can't guarantee I'll come back. I understand. Thank you. I get roped into this. Could you talk to everybody? Where is this person that I'm looking for? Forget what they look like, because they look like fucking literally everybody else. <laughs> They're probably upstairs. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, hell no, it's you again. Hmm? What's your problem? Stalking me or something? Yeah. No, why would I do that? Whatever, you crazy man. What are you doing here? Oh, looking for Takeshi. Know where I could find him? Hmm. And what if I did? So, you're saying you won't tell me for free? <laughs> Damn straight, nothing is world free, Holmes. What do you want then? Uh. Hmm. Tell you what. You bring me a tuna, a tuna and egg sandwich, I'll tell you where Takeshi is. Sorry, but I've got nothing for you. Then I can't tell you where Takeshi is. Damn. Can't believe I need to get this clown a sandwich. Well, we learned what we need a fucking sandwich. <laughs> Why? Why do we need a sandwich? Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing that we have to do for this asshole? This kid can go fuck himself. <laughs> Oh, hey, Majima's down here. Majima! Majima! Oh, it's... it's... Yo, Kirito-chan! <laughs> Let's go, buddy! I sure wish I could move. I'm just I'm just playing like a dipshit right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, fuck off. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to do that. Because I know he's getting up to fucking... <laughs> That's why I switched over to Brawler. So I can do this. Spikes him when the, the brawler style. I still think my favorite is when he's when I get to do rush. Sir, I was trying to grab that. Oh, of course. Why? Oh my god, kitty you! You would only get hit by that one attack. Oh 
Oh my god, please. Please! Move! When I tell you to move, please tell me to move. I fucking hate the way you do things, P to you. God damn it. Let's keep getting this up. Oh, dragon strength too, really? Oh, nice. I still need to, like, I, uh, I don't know where to go for some of these. Like, I did a few, but that's the only things I've done, so I don't really know where to go. Like, who's this for? Yeah, the Majima. I have to find zombie Majima. Uh, I have to find idol. Huh. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. But, uh, that's a, that's a good unlock. I wonder how how strong that actually affect the effect is 